Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathix, and today I want to talk to you about moving bricks and share with you a little bit of my childhood and lessons that I learned from my father. Um, I grew up in a separated household and every other weekend <clears throat> I would go over to my father's house and um, things were always different. You know, at my mom's house, it was more, um, baseball and f school friends. And with my father, <clears throat> we would go skating and, um, and hang out with him. And, um, the, the point is, it was two completely different environments. But for whatever reason, my father had hundreds of cinder blocks in our backyard and I don't even know what for he was using them to build something I'm, I'm not quite sure but uh, I was probably <clears throat> 14 or 15 around this time and I remember um, not as a punishment or anything but just as like a chore he would have my brother and I go out it was, it was almost every weekend and move the cinder blocks and um and I think it was because like at one time he was working in one section of the yard and, and anyways the point is so there had to have been at least 50 to 100 at least of these center blocks that we would move from one side of the yard to the other and um in the first few times I, I sort of complained and and I wasn't very thrilled with the idea especially after you know after doing it twice and then one weekend he, he's like hey we're moving the cinder blocks again it just gets you really frustrated because you feel like all you're doing is moving stuff back and forth with no purpose and um the other thing was at the time i was a very scrawny 14 or 15 year old and i was also trying to get into football I had a lot of uh, success in sports with baseball, but I hadn't hadn't really transitioned into the football realm yet. So um, I want to say I weighed like 200 pounds back then. I was trying to put on some meat, and um, sure enough, and I'm not saying it's all to to this, but like over the course of time, um, moving those cinder blocks um, every other weekend or so really got me uh, put on some pounds like some meat some some muscle and um, but the the thing is is after a few times I started to enjoy it I started to um, like use them as as weights and I would get creative with the way I would stack them so that they were like in different structures and it became uh, instead of just some task it became a um, almost an outlet for me to kind of just go out and get in touch with my body and my physicality and also a little bit of my creative side because each time I would move it I would build them in such a way that it was a little different unless my father had told me you know to do it one way or the other and um, anyways so the reason I bring this up is because life sometimes feels like we're just moving cinder blocks from one end of the yard to the other to the other end of the yard and those cinder blocks sometimes take form of files sometimes they're paper sometimes there are children just bringing them back and forth and you may feel as though you're not accomplishing anything because you're just doing tasks back and forth but the thing is it's not about it's not about all those meaningless tasks. Um, what what I learned early on in childhood is that you can make almost anything um, productive and worthwhile if you only change your mindset. And like I said before, not only did I physically, um, you know, put on some muscle, but I also it that also gave me time when I was outside to practice some um, martial arts 
um, like I said before, I would get creative with it and I would have fun and and then this thing that became that was a task became a, like a uh, almost an well, it was it was an enjoyable activity and I got to play around and, and build things and um it wasn't about those tasks anymore when I look back I can see that in very small and sometimes large ways I I was developing and life is the same way we are constantly throughout your entire life you will be moving stuff from one place to another place and it's just stuff and there's just they they can they can be meaningless tasks if you want and you can be frustrated by them or you can look at areas in which you want to develop and use those tasks to get you further towards that goal so for example uh, I go to college right now and I have no reason to have to go to college I just enjoy it and I get to meet new people every eight weeks I get to I get introduced to new mentors every eight weeks I get to challenge myself in different areas of my life every eight weeks and I could look at it as just I have homework and and it's tedious and it's just one more thing I have to do on top of my job and my children and my bills and and friends and and maintaining relationships and family I could do that but instead the way I like to look at it is each one of those tasks I can use personally to build myself up and one of the ways that I do this is by each one of my papers I try to focus on things that I am passionate about things that not only are in line with the curriculum but that are also in line with where I'm going and what I'm heading to do so a lot of things about polymathics a lot of things about veterans and and being multidisciplined and the the new um, direction that publishing is taking and the new direction that education is taking these are all things that really are intriguing to me and and so I'm able to use the college as an outlet and college is just one example work is another your children are another your relationship with your significant other is another your relationship with your family can be another there are so many different outlets that you can use, but it's all in your mindset. If you want it to be miserable, then it will be miserable. And if you want it to be fun, it can be fun. But it's up to you. So, um, with that being said, I'll leave you with this. Think about... what's going on in your life now what stage are you at right now and what are the things that you have to do day to day that you find really tedious but could be changed in small ways to become something fun that that could be used as an outlet for creativity an outlet for growth um, you know there's so many different ways that you can look at it um, but it's up to you to change your mindset and the first thing before you can change your mindset is identifying what the problem is. Once you identify this is the thing that's really bothering you, then you can take a look at it with fresh eyes and say, how can I make this more fun? How can I make this something that will also edify me as well as others, whether it's my boss or my family or my children or my teacher, whatever it might be. So, um, with that being said, uh, I hope you found this um, helpful and informative. And if you did, please give me a like and go ahead and subscribe if you want to hear more information. But until next time, take it easy.